WordPress website, either you or your users, they may look something like this, right? It looks really scammy and it appears as if someone else has sent this email on our behalf. And most of the emails sent from WordPress end up in the spam folder like this, right? WordFin's plugin might send emails, WordPress software. If you have a WooCommerce store, even that will send emails. Even WP Forms or basically any backup plugin might send emails. So basically email is an integral part of your WordPress website. And you can fix this. You can fix all this using something called SMTP so that users get emails in their inbox instead of getting them in their spam folder or not receiving them at all. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and let's see how it's done. Now log into your WordPress website where you want to configure SMTP as an admin. Go to plugins, click on add new and the plugin that you want to search for is called WP Mail SMTP. You can simply type SMTP in the keyword field and it's this one by WP Forms. So click on install now and activate this plugin. This is the plugin that will assist us in setting up SMTP so that our emails from our website reach users. So just install and activate this plugin. I just installed and activated this plugin. I'll click on go back to dashboard. It will prompt you to use this setup wizard, which you can use, but I'll just show you the manual way. Now we're back in the dashboard and it will show us this general field and you can pick any option from here, right? There are different SMTP options to configure from. You can pick the one appropriate, but in this tutorial, I'll show you the way using Gmail. If you don't have a professional email account, you can also use your personal Gmail account, but I already showed you how to do a professional Gmail account or business Gmail account in another tutorial. I'll leave link to that tutorial in the description. So I'll just select Gmail and from, from email, I'll just select my business email, which is karthik at the rate income gaze.com. You can check this box. Basically, no matter which plugin sends an email, it gets sent from this email address. So I'll just un just uncheck this. But if you just have one email address that you want to communicate with your users, you can check this box else you'll uncheck this and leave it as is from name to make it professional. You can use something like Kartek from income gaze, John from whatever your website is. You can also force from name if you don't force it, plugins will use whatever is provided to them, right? Your form plugins and stuff like that. Anyway, so I'll just pick Google. I'll just fill in my email name. I'll just also check this and I'll just click on save settings. Now the settings are successfully changed and now we need to get something called a client ID and a secret ID. Now, once you click on save changes, right? You won't be able to pick from email. Well, this from email should be the email that will let us authorize this SMTP protocol using the WP mail SMTP plugin. So I just typed my business email. You can also use your personal email and keep the Gmail, either the personal one or the business one open tab, right? This tab can be open or you can close this and go to console.cloud.google.com link to this will be in the description. And once you go there, you'll have an interface similar to this. Click on select a project. Let's create a new one and let's call it income gaze, right? I'll just give it a new name, income gaze mail. Cool. So I'll just click on create and that will create our project. So once the project is created, you can either select it from here. If you have created another project, you can simply click it to select it or you can create a new one. You can simply click this and that project gets selected and go down where you find something called APIs. Just click that and that will take us to the screen and click on this plus enable APIs and services. Since we're trying to use Gmail, search for an API called Gmail and it's this one Gmail API. Click that and you just need to enable this API, right? Just enable that, wait for some time, that will be enabled and we can proceed with the next step. And that is enabled and now you're taken to this dashboard again. Now you need to set this up, right? So you need to click on create credentials. 
so that you can actually use it. Now it'll ask you which kind of API you're using. Of course, it's Gmail API and we're using it for user data. Just click that, click on next. And you can give it any name, income, gaze, SMTP, just type your website and and select the user support Gmail, right? Email address, again, you can punch in your own professional or personal email. You can click on save and continue. You can click on save and continue. And now you have something called OAuth client ID. Click that and we're actually using it for web application. So just click web application. I'll use income gaze website, right? And for URIs, just type in your website's domain, right? HTTPS, the full extension of your domain where you're going to use this API, right? It's basically incomegaze.com in my case. You just type in the complete extension, HTTPS. If it's www. type that. Mine is just incomegaze.com. I'll just type that. And for authorized redirect URL, now you need to go back to your plugin and you'll find the same authorized redirect URA in your SMTP plugin. Just click this to copy it. That will copy it to the clipboard and click here on the plus button, paste it and click on create, right? Whatever you get it from the plugin, you get it, right? So this is the client ID. You can simply copy this. So under client ID, just copy this. Right, whatever Google has given in here. You can click on done and you can also get the private ID, right? Once you click on done or you can click this and that will give you the client ID and also the private ID. And you can see this is the client secret. I can simply copy this, right? The client ID, you can also copy it from here if you want. And the client secret is this one. Just copy this from here paste it in here, click on save changes. And once you click on save changes, you need to click on allow plugin to send emails. And this is the same email address that you used to configure. So I'll just click on the email and it'll ask you to allow income case SMTP to send emails. Yes, of course you need to allow this else this API won't, won't work. And just like that, we configured SMTP, right? And this license key is for the pro version, so you don't have to worry. Now everything is set and you're good to go, right? Now it shows authorization. It's authorized as Karthik at the rate incomegaze.com. You can simply close this developer console. You just need it once to configure and it just works. After that, you can simply close it. So we just configured our SMTP. You can click on email test. So it'll send a test email to this email address that you configured SMTP from and it's my professional email address i'll just click on send email and it gives you a warning or something like that you can go ahead and add these records but it will still work not a problem right you can fix this later let's check the inbox now if i refresh this just like that i got my email directly in my inbox without it going to the spam folder. Now you can see this here, right? I got the test email. It's saying that this email was sent successfully. So it means that your SMTP is good to go and any email sent from your email address will now reach emails users inbox. It can be yourself or it can be your customer or your user. Let's actually test it out. So I have a form. I just set up a test page and this is a contact form and it will send email to my professional address or admin address when I fill it. So I'll simply fill this form and send it. And this also works for your Elementor form or any other form, right? Anything, any email sent from your website. I'll just click on send message and it's showing the success message. Now, if I refresh my inbox, that should technically be in my inbox, which it is, right? We just received my form entry into my professional inbox, just like that. It didn't go to the spam folder. It didn't get deleted or anything, right? Now, all of the plugins will just send emails straight to your inbox. It may not be in your inbox. You can go to all mail and still find it, right? If it's not in your inbox, because inbox 
in gmail just focuses on important things or whatever but you can see that it now reached directly without any warning message without any scammy message right it just works and this is smtp for you in a nutshell now i told you that i'll force email i'll check this force from email and force from name and i'll just click on save changes we'll fill the form again and see how we'll receive the form i'll just click on send message right i submitted a new entry now i'll reload this page click here and now you see that the person is karthik from income case which is the one that i included in the smtp settings right so from name even the name is forced and you see that karthik from income case sent this email and if you configure this form to send emails to your users even they'll see the same name so it's sent from karthik from income case and from email will be this email so all other plugins that send emails will now use this email and this name but we don't want that usually so you can uncheck this and click on save changes but if you check these and click on save changes this is what happens right the name and the email even though it's sent from a different wordpress email it will force this email and you don't want that right wordfence itself will have a different wordpress email created for itself and woocommerce will have different email 